right, first cut, it's all ring great. And uh, really beautiful wide sycamore. I think at the biggest point, this is gonna be like 33 inches across. So really pretty slabs. If you haven't made a log cart, you're really missing out. This makes doing it by yourself a lot easier. You got a video for it, but anyways, we're gonna keep moving and get this thing milled. Alright, second cut went good. I really like some really pretty spalting and you're starting to get into that like lace wood there and the quarter sawn stock. It's got really pretty salmon color in the middle of it. This stuff is going to be, it's very uniform and wide, which I really like about it too. So I haven't measured it. I'll probably measure the next one, let you know what the measurements are, but it's wide, it's beautiful and uh, it's milling really well. Again, got some really cool spalting gonna be some cool projects in the future not sure what I'll do with it but uh, I'm cutting it at uh, uh, about two and a half inches thick and be able to do a lot with it if I wanted to resaw it I could resaw it and make boards uh, lots of different things I can do with a sycamore so this came from the same tree if, if you saw my video earlier I still haven't finished milling that log where I found that um, ceramic insulator I got to finish milling that one but uh, I didn't want to deal with that one right now just milling this one and it is uh, milling good hitting no nails so far beautiful it will probably have a big void right there soon because of the void that's in the middle right there but it'll just be a cool feature and uh, again i i'm not so much slabbing this up to slab it i always personally cut boards out of it i don't i like some love edge i'll do maybe some love edge out of it but more than anything i want the sycamore for the boards um than anything in specific different grains in the future so uh let's get back at it all right third one i'm about to go stack these because i can only handle these things are heavy i mean they're seven foot long and uh, this is 33 inches wide and 30 inches down there. This one's 34 inches across and 30 inches on that side. And again, these are over seven foot. So cut it two and a half inches. These things are stout. So I'm gonna take these, go stack them real quick. Then I'll be able to load this back up. That, this is just the convenience of this thing is like, instead of having to take one at a time or load them all up, I'll roll all these over. I've got a stacking area behind the, uh, barn that i just go stack them up that's already ready we'll stack this up and then get back over here clear this out and go keep doing some more so stay tuned and uh we're gonna keep milling this thing up oh and we're really starting to get kind of to the pith getting really close to it but i'm getting a lot of cool uh that lace wood like quarter song grain snake skin look is getting more and more in these slabs you know uh, that's my favorite part of the sycamore the closer we get to the pith I'm just gonna have so much of that really pretty quarter sawn um, Wood of sycamore, which is my favorite part of sycamore sycamore outside of that just a flat sawn with none of this cool kind of like lace wood Stuff in it. It's not really that impressive to me But I love the quarter sawn sycamore and all the uh, cool colors and textures of it. So that's my favorite part of it You can see all that kind of lace wood that just all quarter sawn because again this is the pith you can see the crack that runs right down the middle so this is the center of the tree it's this side again it's just got some really gorgeous uh of that just medullary rays is ultimately what they are but it just looks like snake skin or lace wood or whatever you want to call it in that sycamore it's one of my favorite things about it so let's see how wide this one is. This one is going to be, as you can see, 33 inches across again. This one's a little over 33. So uh, let's, let's see what this end is with this little bulge right here. You know, you got 33, thir a little over 30 inches. So these are just some beautiful single slabs that we got right here. But the good chance of them cracking down the middle just because of the pith is there. But again, too, I'm... I'm more interested in getting boards to make furniture out of it than I am just the big wide slabs 
so uh anyways who knows when i'll make something out of this probably something for my kids several years down the line or make something out of it but we'll see but i uh, love doing this and i uh, gotta keep This cut, I knew it happened. It's a yard tree and uh, hit some metal, you can tell. I'm gonna try to dig this out. It's a pretty big piece, um, some sort of spike, something and see where it is and try to, and I can even see some more right there. So um, it's part of cutting yard tree. So I'm gonna have to switch out the blade uh, cause I could definitely tell it took a lot longer, but you know, it's still not a bad cut for hitting a pretty good sized piece of metal. Um, this one had a lot of knots in it too. Yeah, you can see that's where the metal was, that black staining right there. Again, man, these are just some, just such a big uniform tree. There's not much variation in the width. Like that is wide and beautiful. And uh, again, you're looking in the 30, all in the 30 something inches range. And we're gonna probably, that's still 30 something inches across right there and there. So uh, we're not gonna drop down in the 20s until probably the next cut. But uh, anyways, now I gotta dig out this metal and uh, these are getting bigger and heavier so I'm gonna go stack these. All right, so I've been digging at this. I haven't really recorded myself, but just uh, with a hammer and like a just old beater chisel. But I mean, I don't even tell. That's a pretty big piece of metal right there. I mean, it's uh, every bit of so far two to three inches sticking up. Found another piece of metal right there, big nail. I have no clue how far it's gonna go. I really don't wanna run my chain through it again and hit it and mess it up even more but uh yeah that's what happens when you get into these yard trees this is why a lot of sawmills don't want to take yard trees um it's because with this tree now so far i've hit a 1930s insulator and then as you can see a pretty good sized chunk uh, of a nail that was driven in here um or a spike or something it doesn't look like a screw i don't think it's another insulator but it's something that was driven in there pretty deep uh and it was big so I think I'm going to call this one a wrap uh, for the day. Um, I just don't have time to dig this out and keep milling. I got some other stuff to do. I mean, because I still, I want to salvage this. I'm probably going to go get a chainsaw and cut that out because I still got a lot of good wood that's there. So far, I've gotten five slabs out of this log um, that are really wide and beautiful. And I still got some more in here. So I'm thinking about going to get another chainsaw just trying to cut out around that and see if I can get that out there but then I gotta change my chain it's just uh, a lot to it when you're doing this chainsaw milling anyways you just can't come with like expectations that everything's just gonna go smoothly every once in a while you run into this like I said the other sycamore log that came from the same tree I didn't expect to run into a 1930s insulator but uh those are the chances that you take and so thankfully my, my meal was able to cut through this one and keep moving but if I want to keep milling this log, I've got to go. And that's why if you're milling for other people, you need to make sure you communicate that, that like, hey, this don't have a set time expectation. We could run into something like this and it's going to mess up your blade. And if you want me to dig it out, because you don't want me to charge you so much for every cut that I go through it, you know, it's going to take some time. So anyways, it's kind of a bummer, but uh, it just is what it is. And uh, it's still fun doing this. I'm so glad I got five slabs so far. I'll get more out of this in the future. But anyways, until then, uh, I'm going to clean this up. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. Um, try to be real and honest about sawmilling, chainsaw milling especially, that it's not it's work. It's not just glamorous and glorious all the time, and there's disappointments in it.